Hello. I got Miss Ma'am. She's finally dozed off to sleep in my arms. I'll take it. So I am putting dishes away right now, but I wanted to give an update because I have been so busy. I feel like I start recording and then I stop and then I never resume and or they'll I'll talk forever and then it doesn't make any sense. But Will is actually in North Carolina right now. He had left this morning before 5 a.m. He had a long drive. He has a work-related thing, so he had to head up there. Um, and then his plan is to come home after late afternoon, early-ish afternoon. So long as the day doesn't change, he is planning to be home. We're thinking that he'll probably be walking in the door closer to midnight just because of all the potential stops or traffic and then just giving that buffer in case something comes up before he's really ready to hit the road. But that means I'm going to have to, of course, go get Reagan from school with Miss Vivian. So I'm thinking it should be fine. Get that off you. Alright, let's get that rinsed. Okay, you got it. Look at Miss Ma'am's face today on a Friday. Can you turn over the, here so we can see? Turn over here so you can see. Oh, there it is. There it is. You look so much better. Let's go put that moisturizer on. So it is Friday. I am about to go get Miss Ma'am here changed for the day between diaper, clothes, putting on lotion since we just washed her face. Basically, what um, what has been happening is Miss Lady here, she has impetigo, which is a bacterial skin infection caused by either strep or staph. Um, in her case, I don't know what the bacteria is, but the thought process by the doctor that she saw on Monday is that she has had severe baby acne that probably with the skin irritation of the acne ended up causing a secondary bacterial infection. That is our best prediction of the order of events with the open skin. We're thinking that makes more sense and is the most probable rather than she was passed on the bacteria from one of us because we've been kind of battling that as a possibility. And we're just like, how did we give you this? We're all fine. But let me set you there. Anywho, she had pretty severe baby acne um, that kind of started up over late last week. And then throughout the weekend, it definitely seemed to be getting more extreme. It looked more worse oh. and raw around her face, um, specifically in the cheeks and nose area. Like this between Sunday night to Monday morning, the raw, the rawness ended up um, looking like this like honey crusted yellow open sore sort of thing. And I have some pictures to share and it just looks so, so sore. And I, my thoughts were, oh my gosh, this acne is now infected. This isn't something that is just now or is gonna to continue to be what is normal for newborns. This, I feel like we're entering this territory of there's more going on. And so we went to the doctor just later that day and they had said um, immediately after walking into the room, the doctor said, nope, this is impetigo. This is not baby acne anymore. And she explained some of the information on that, explained how it's highly contagious, how we can pass it on to each other, to Reagan, just by touching that, how we need to wash the linens and basically anything baby touches. She explained how it is, um, we're gonna go the oral antibiotic route because of how extreme it is. And then the idea is after three days of antibiotics, it should significantly change as to indicate it's working. 
but of course you continue the medicine longer. And then the, um, the other comment that was made is after 24 to 48 hours, give or take, um, with the antibiotics, she should no longer be contagious. And so we have been battling this since Monday. It is now Friday. She's doing remarkably well on top of the, um, oh, wait, I'll get your onesie off. On top of, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. On top of the antibiotics, um, it was said, wash her face twice a day with a, of course, unscented baby shampoo, tear free, all that mumbo jumbo. Um, and then afterwards, apply a baby safe face lotion moisturizer because all of that face washing is going to dry out her skin and so that's kind of where we've been at um and so she's she's looked she's looking a lot better all right it is a new week it is a new day we are starting the week strong will had Worked from home today, but he actually had to take Kona to the vet. She had hurt her paw yesterday. She was running in the yard and she basically tore her toe, um, like in the nail. And so we had wrapped it, it was bleeding. We washed it, well wrapped it. And so I reached out to the vet today and they had said to go ahead and bring her in because they indicated that while it's common for this injury to occur, Infection is really our biggest uh, issue with it. And so they recommended that she come in. I think he's gonna be about on his way home from that. And typically my understanding is they'll do anti-inflammatory, maybe some pain meds, something a little bit more in depth than we can get over the counter at home. I wanted to show you what I got. I have more downstairs I need to bring upstairs, but I wanna at least show you what I have thus far in this freezer because every time I open it, I feel like I record a snippet and then I have more. So let me show you what we're currently working with as of this moment per this freezer, not including what's downstairs. All right, so in each of these bags are bags, bags of milk. These are gallon sized bags holding pouches of milk ranging anywhere from two ounces up to five ounces a baggie and there is quite a bit of milk i don't know what we'll end up doing with all this milk because every day we just keep adding more and more to it and every day i continue to feed little miss thing here oops let me see if i can find her face there it is there it is she just fell asleep i'm holding her in my carrier right now just so she feels nice and close. But yeah, talk about crazy. I have so much milk. I think I've had way more milk than I had with Reagan, at least just looking at the number of bags. I'm not really sure what my ultimate goal is in terms of the milk, but at this point in time, I am still producing more milk than Vivian is consuming. And so I definitely feel engorged and so I need to relieve myself by pumping and mostly I am pumping because it's just still so much of a routine to continue to pump around the clock especially when she falls asleep but because I'm producing more than she's taking in I just continue to fill up bags but I don't have like an ultimate goal or number that I'm working towards it's more so just a personal challenge at this point of how high we can get this, but it's not, I'm not really working towards anything at this point, just because I feel that she is consuming all that she needs to consume and she's doing just fine. I do think though that I'm probably not gonna use all the milk as much as I am continuing to obtain more and more. I just, I don't foresee me in a position where we're gonna start thawing the bags because eventually I'm gonna produce enough for her to consume. And then I don't know if I'm, if suddenly she's gonna need more that will result in me thawing the milk. But the idea is it's there, it's an emergency. That's what it's for. Also, it does make travel plans and working and all that different life just a bit easier to have so much. But 
I feel like just like com thinking back about how we kind of went about things with Reagan when it came to breast milk and then I just I don't foresee a lot of the home life changing even if my commitments with um, how much time I'm able to dedicate during the day to my daughter are different than that of with Reagan. I don't foresee the sudden need for lots of milk to be consumed, but I think that's just because we're still writing it out. So it's a lot of milk, I should say. That's, uh, it's pretty impressive. So we're going to tell everybody, in our Valentine's Day goodie bag, do you know, do you know what you're handing out to your friends? Look. You're going to give them a pair of glasses. You're gonna give them a dinosaur Valentine's Day card. You're gonna give them a slinky. You're gonna give them three pieces of chocolate candy hearts. And you're gonna give them a maze. Inside this bag, I need you to put two pieces of candy. Can you put two pieces of candy? What? Pick out one of these two. One. Two. Fun. Like this guy. Right? Good job, Reagan. Yeah. Are your friends going to love your candies? Yes. That's so good. Say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. High five. <laughs>